Six million candidates have begun writing their 2023 national exams. They include the 1.2 million KPSEA candidates and the 1.4 million KCPE candidates. This year being the last for learners to be examined under the 844 education system after the government introduced the competency-based curriculum CBC. Various national leaders, including the president, oversaw the opening of the examination papers as they warned against any exam malpractices. Andrin Kilemi kickstarts the bulletin tonight with that report. Day one of 2023 national examinations for grade 6 and class 8 candidates across the country, an exercise that kicked off early Monday with cabinet secretaries, principal secretaries and other government officials including President William Ruto overseeing the opening of examination containers. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this great morning. At least 2.6 million learners wrote their national exams today. They include the 1.2 million registered Kipsea candidates and the 1.4 million registered KCP candidates, the number representing an increase of more than 170,000 candidates from last year. Your Excellency, that all is moving on well. As I was here, I confirmed that each and every part of the country, Your Excellency, the exams have won to all the schools. We will do everything that is possible. If there is one thing that we have done is to place education as a priority. And that is why we are spending the largest budget of Kenya on our children, because you are the biggest asset that we have. This year's KCP exam marking the beginning of the end of the 844 education system after almost four decades. Starting next year, candidates will be assessed under the CBC curriculum, which focuses on targeted learning processes that identify specific competencies in learners. Leaders who witnessed the opening of the exam consignment, stressing the importance of integrity in national exams. Let's not try to do anything that will disadvantage our children. Our children are prepared for the examination. I know our good teachers, you've done a good job. Let's co-create them in the right way. Let's not take shortcuts. Let's allow them to be the people that they can be. And anybody who tries to bring or to mess up with the integrity of the examinations, other security agencies led by the DCI and other arms of government are on the watch out to see Nobody plays any monkey business with the integrity of our examination and our children must get what they have worked for. This as a Kiambu teacher who was arrested Thursday was released on a 100,000 shillings cash bill after he denied publishing false news of selling examination papers on social media platforms. Andrin Ekilemi, TV 47. Thank you Andrin for that. The